Remember the other day when I said, now that I've got a car, I'm going to be more mobile? Well, I'm back in Whitby. <laughs> Good morning guys. I think it's morning still. Hold on. Yep. <laughs> How are you guys all doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I never say that. Um, I don't know if you've noticed but I have a Joe and Archie with me as well as Harley. We just got here to Whitby. It is now 20 past 11 and it's a little overcast. It says it's going to rain today. We've got a very excited doggy because he recognises where we are, don't you? Yeah, no yeah. Got an archie who's dancing. Either load of the flies or something. Oh, sorry. Very good. And of course, we've got a Jojo. Hi. <laughs> I was just about to ask that which way we we're going to go. Uh, well, shops are all that way, so. Yeah, we're gonna go that way. Yeah, it looks like uh, there's rain coming. It is supposed to be raining today, but we're prepared. I've got my coat and my umbrella. I have remembered today to put the anti-shake option on. I, I can never remember what it's called. Steady shot, that's it. I can remember the steady shot. I've remembered to put that on. Oh, that's noisy. And I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about him. He's, He's been so oh, noisy man. all the way here. I'll tell you what though, I'm very very proud of Harley. Usually when I'm driving and he's in the back seat, he's just whining the entire journey. Ever since I've got this car, he's been sat in the back, nothing, quiet as a mouse. He's been very very good. I'm assuming he missed going in a car. Right, let's go around Whitby into lots and lots of shops because I know Archie loves shopping don't you? <laughs> Joe and Archie have had fish and chips I'm not quite hungry yet but I bought something from Greg's and then Archie he's had a blue slushie Archie let's show them the amount look at the state of that <laughs> looks a mess uh, yeah I'm not that hungry yet but like I say I've been in Greg's bought a sandwich and a drink for when I do get hungry. I know it's a shock, me not being hungry yet. We're just uh, wandering around the shops. We've been in one charity shop. I didn't buy anything from there, but I'm pretty sure there's a few down here. In fact, I see one there and one down there. I'm sure I'll find something to buy. Well, I'm not having a very successful shopping trip. All the charity shops I've been in, I've bought nothing. Just been in this one where I bought that Mega Piranha last year which I've still yet to watch they've got no DVDs by the way I forgot to mention it did start raining earlier it was only like a light shower I'm kind of expecting it to start again at some point I'm just realizing we're going further up the hill than I did before and Joe's already walking that way guess I'm following <laughs> the last time I just walked back down the hill the Great Goth. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a look in. I've got a feeling I'm going to keep going that way. Maybe. We'll see. Well, we followed the road and now we're here. Look at the view. Why did I not come up here the last time? You can see all the people walking up and down the steps. Up to the Abbey. Yeah, you can see the swing bridge and the harbour. It's like the tide's out. Yeah, and it looks like we're going to get to see more over here. I think when I was here the last time, which was only last year, I was looking up here from over then and I might have said I couldn't be bothered to come up here. If I knew I could have come up here from where I was the last time, I would have done. Hmm, at least I now know. There's definitely a nice view of the church and the abbey from here. Hmm, let's go and look at the view over here. Whitby Ghost Walks from the whale bones, which I'm assuming this is them. Huh. You know I have to. We've got to touch them. <laughs> Captain Coke Museum. <laughs> okay. 
I'm assuming that's Captain Cook. Ah, there's a lovely view. I really have never been up here before. Sounds weird, but it's true. Only because I thought there wasn't that much up here. Wow, tide is definitely out. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Fortunately, Harley can't go on the beach. Dogs aren't allowed, apparently. And it looks like there's actually a way down to the bottom here. Oh. The more you explore eh? it. <laughs> it's what I always say, and I'm obviously not doing it often enough. Yeah, it goes all the way back down to the bottom. I don't know, I guess I just didn't feel like I had enough time the last time I was here. It's definitely a better view of the Abbey from up here. I'm gonna get a few photos and then uh, kick myself in the shin for not coming up here the last time. <laughs> I don't know. We've ended up back on this uh, road where this is all uphill and Archie was determined to go in Poundland so Joe's took him in there and I figured while they were in there I would go in here. The orange frog. And I bought myself a few things finally. Got myself caramel fudge. I also got some uh, Four of these lollies, bubble gum. Oh, Joe's ringing me, hold on. Hello? Can you hear me? Where are you? I'm uh, across from Poundland. I can't see you, so I've walked down the road. Okay, I'll follow you in a minute, I'll be there. I've, oh, I've just been in sweet shop. Oh, bye. They've lost me again. But the other thing I bought, I've never had before. Vimto roller liquor. I love Vimto. So yeah, finally bought something. Hopefully these aren't the last things I'm buying. I've come down the boardwalk with Harley because Archie was adamant about going into the arcade so he's dragged his mum in. <laughs> I don't think Harley's allowed in so I didn't even bother going there. So I don't see this view. I th think it's just starting to rain again. <laughs> I think it's starting to rain, dude. No, it's definitely starting to rain. I'm gonna have to get, I think I might have to get my umbrella out. Or better yet, hold on. Do the one thing that I usually do. When it starts raining, or when it's very hot and sunny. Put this on. This hat that I bought from Bridlington last year. I remember I was wearing it here last year when it started raining again. Pirates. <laughs> Can't believe it's already just gone past three o'clock. Uh, we still haven't done the other side of the swing bridge yet to go to those shops. And I'm pretty sure Joe wants to go up there. I have to admit I am getting a bit tired. <laughs> but anyway, we've only got a few more hours left of the car park so I'm going to head back to where they are, hopefully Arch is done with the arcades and then we can go across the swing bridge to the other side and see if there's anything else I want to buy. Oh, we're a bit tired, we've come up the steps to the Abbey, he claims he's not tired. I don't believe you. You know why you're not tired? Because you didn't go up the steps, you went up the uh, road bit. Where so did my mum and she's tired. No, she's not. She's over there somewhere taking pictures. <sighs> yeah, we've... Uh, well, I climbed up the steps anyway with Harley. I'm noticing there's uh, quite a bit of rain out over in the distance right over there. And quite a few dark clouds up here as well. Hopefully that doesn't mean it's going to start chucking it down. I didn't realise you could come through this gate before. I think the entrance is over there. What are you doing? Leave my drink alone. I'm trying to get my strawberry slushy. But anyway, I'm gonna have a sit down. Oh, and then Archie's gonna do that silly dance in the background, what I've just asked him to do. Are you gonna do that silly dance? What silly dance? The one that you've just been doing about two minutes ago. Yeah, that one. <laughs> 
this is what I have to put up with. Just as we get back to the car, the sun's come out, it's red or hot, which is why I've got my hat on. But I'm exhausted. And I'm the one driving his bike. So hopefully I don't fall asleep at the wheel. Oh! <laughs> I was waiting. I didn't know if you was going to well, react. I usually do. <laughs> yeah. I bought a few more things whilst we were on the other side of the bridge. Got a lot of fudge and um, some uh, dark chocolate coffee beans. So, mmm, they're really nice. Maybe I can use it to wake me up. <laughs> now I don't want to gorge on them because. We're hoping to find somewhere to eat on the way back. We'll see. Okay, don't ask me how, but somehow we've ended up in a town called Selby. And it's very, very, very pretty. Look at this. Got a nabby right there. I think it's because as we were leaving Whitby, I was like, let's go this way, see if we can find a pub. And then Joe started like Googling um, places to go. And eventually we're saying, let's just see if there's anything on the way back. So we started following the sat-nav in a complete different direction. It almost took us into York. And so uh, we redirected it and now it's got us into a place called Selby. We're uh, very hungry. We've been looking for pubs that are dog friendly. It turns out that this just might be it. It's called the George Inn. It's got a beer garden anyway, so even if you can't take dogs in, we could eat out here. Yeah, it's very pretty around here. Because we've noticed there's a few charity shops and obviously at this time, which is 10 past 7, they're closed. So Joe and I are saying we're going to come back here someday <laughs> to explore it. There's tons and tons of shops. But yeah, my stomach is uh, rumbling. It's time for food. I think someone's tired out. <laughs> He's not the only one. Oh boy. So we went in that pub, the George Inn. By the way, in case you haven't noticed, I am home. Or we are home. This guy. Anyway, yeah. So we went in the George Inn. Nice pub. Friendly staff. Nice food. Um, I had a steak and ale pie with mash and vegetables. I think Joe had a curry and Archie had fish fingers, chips and peas. The one thing that wasn't good was the toilets. The only toilet with the door, the lock didn't work and one of the taps was broken but other than that, nice pub. And then we went back to the car and made our way, well, made our way back to their house I've dropped them off. I was planning on vlogging when I got there. Completely forgot. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, and now I'm home. And I'm very, very thirsty. Can you tell? Been a good day. He's been incredibly good. Honestly, I probably already mentioned it earlier, but usually when he's in a car, he whines all the way. Like, he's eager to get there. Ever since I've got this new car, quiet as a mouse, never fusses once nothing honestly all around Whitby usually when we stop to like look at something in a shop or whatever else get a drink or something he starts whining no he just plonks his bottom down and just sat there like calm as anything and whilst we were in the pub usually he gets really anxious and whatnot I know I said to him just go under the chair and sure enough he was under the chair and he laid down and he just caused no fuss whatsoever just quiet maybe it's old age <laughs> I don't know uh, anyway guys I'm gonna sign off now because it is now 10 past 10 yeah I've gotta get up early in the morning for work tomorrow another full day start at 9 finish at 7 and no doubt by the end of that I'm gonna be shattered but I'll have to get this edited this vlog so I can upload it on Saturday I used to make a vlog and have it edited that night so it's ready for upload the next day with these shifts that I do now it's a lot more difficult although saying that now that I have a car 
won't be as difficult because normally when I finish at seven, I'm not getting home till between eight and a half past eight, depending on how quick I've caught a bus or, you know, changed buses. Now I'll just drive home. And talking of the car, first time being on motorways, ping, obviously I don't go beyond the speed limit, but it picks up speed really quickly. I'm really happy with this car, it's great. Yeah, I was going to go. <laughs> I'm just rambling on as usual. All that's left for me to say now is thank you for watching and subscribing if you have and liking this video if you did. Until the next time, peace out. He really is shattered.